we present Tilt Map, a novel interaction technique for intuitively transitioning between 2 and 3D map visualizations in immersive environments. Tilt Map transitions from 2D choropleth maps to 3D prism maps to 2D bar charts to overcome the limitations of each. Choropleth maps have been widely used to visualize aerial data. For example, population density, unemployment rate, birth rate, and many more. A choropleth map uses colors to encode numeric values from small to large. But there are other ways to encode numeric values. Some encodings are more effective than others. We can see from this chart that color is not the most effective encoding for numeric values. The most effective is height. So choropleth maps have a familiar encoding for numeric value. However, it is not the most effective. Prism maps, by contrast, use height to encode value, which is more effective, but the 3D effect can lead to occlusion. It is also possible to use both color and height to encode the values associated with areas in such maps. We need to understand which is the most effective encoding. In immersive head-tracked environments, it's possible to overcome the 3D occlusion issue through natural interactions. However, the effectiveness of choropleth and prism map visualizations has not previously been evaluated in immersive environments. This is the subject of our first study. Inspired by the results of our first study, we designed a novel interaction technique to combine a choropleth map, a prism map, and a bar chart in one. We call this technique Tilt Map. When viewing the visualization directly from above, the user sees a choropleth map. As they tilt the visualization to the side, the choropleth will continuously morph into a prism map. If the user continues tilting, the prism map will morph finally to a bar chart. So the user simply tilts the map to get their preferred view, either of the numerical data or of the geography. We compare tilt map to more conventional arrangements. For example, we might simply place the three visualizations side by side. Or we can allow the user to toggle between them at the press of a button. Our second study compares the effectiveness of these three separate interaction designs. Please see our paper for a detailed account of the results.